Hello friends and happy new year! We start this year with a Hyundai Kona electric. I'll make a quick tour outside so that I can show you it's a rainy day in Germany. This is how the cool car looks from outside. As I said, it's fully electric. Uh, car from Hyundai. They also have the Ionic, but this uh, Hyundai Kona electric I like it more because it has a better range, has a bigger battery, more power, and it's also kind of uh, more comfortable than the Ionic. So this is how it looks from outside. Let me show you the electric engine. So this is the electric engine, as I said. We have a 64 kilowatt hour uh, battery connected to a permanent magnet electric engine which transmits the power and the traction to the front wheels so it's only front wheel drive trunk is quite small it's 361 liters i would say it's quite small uh, in my opinion we have the charging cable here. You can charge it at a maximum 77 kilowatt DC charge. The charging spot is here. You have two. If you want to charge it faster, of course, you need to plug in both of them. Let's get inside. The interior of the car looks really nice quality material we have heated seats and ventilated seats we had also heated seats in the back I would not bother you with all let's say conventional things I would only insist on what's really specific or different first of all I like this kind of console it's quite tall and it's really comfortable for the driver and gives you kind of a nice feeling being here there's an empty space here because we have only one gear yeah otherwise big console we had head-up display and we have kind of some buttons here like three four actually different drive modes which is echo which is now we have like comfort one sporty and if you keep the button pushed for some seconds you have the echo plus where you can drive maximum 90 kilometers per hour and it will cut you by default all heating and ventilations inside so normally this car can uh, have has like a let's say a range from 335 kilometers until maximum of 400 depending on so many factors like weather, uphill, downhill, uh, how aggressive are you driving, how many uh, things have you turned on inside the car, like heating, the, let's say the numbers that the producer, the manufacturer is uh, presenting, they are nice, but you need to take into account that it's not, it can also be not the reality reflected because it's actually depending on so many, so many factors. We have some tinted windows in the back. Leather, as I was saying. So the, the car looks quite nice, you know, nice materials, premium materials, I would say. Uh, we have also heated seats in the back, as I was saying, on two levels.
So we have an electric car, so it means that the feedback is instant. in sport mode you will just lose a lot of energy from the batteries now it's also raining it's cold as I said there are a lot of factors that will directly influence the energy in the batteries will drive if you are very aggressive with the accelerator with the pedal you lose uh, because it's not four-wheel drive the car will try to kind of lose control <laughs> I was mentioning there are two shifting pedals and you can control how aggressive the regeneration will happen so from the left you will just go to level zero as it mentioned so no charging no regeneration and then from the right from the left I get to the maximum level three which actually the car will break for you when you take up the foot from the accelerator Now it's red, the traffic light, I just let the car brake and bring more energy to the batteries. 